Welcome to my budget giant ballpark deck profile. I'm playing two different insect normal monsters, just the two ones with the highest attack, Insect Knight and Shiny Black Sea, and I'm playing three Goki Poles. Goki Pole can either be linked off or uh, sent with Resonance Insect or Giant Ballpark to the graveyard to trigger its effect. That when it's sent to the graveyard, you can add one level 4 insect monster from your deck to their hand. And if you added a normal monster, you can special summon the monster. And then you can destroy one monster on the field with an equal or higher attack. Then I'm playing two adds techie Pete. This can special summon itself from the hand by banishing uh, insect monster from my graveyard. And when it inflicts battle damage to my opponent, they have to mill one card to the graveyard. I'm playing one Beatron. I'm playing uh, some face-up spells, so this can, if I draw multiple, send, uh, for example, if I draw two field spells, I can send one of the field spells to the graveyard and use its effect to revive an insect monster from the graveyard. It doesn't negate effects as well. I'm playing one Planet Pathfinder. Uh, normally you would play more, but uh, because it's limited in the NR event, I'm only playing one. So you can use this deck list. <laughs> it's it's good. It gets you giant ballpark, and the deck is called giant ballpark for a reason. Um, I'm playing three uh, resonance insect. Uh, this is really good, but sadly it's not as good as it could be because we don't have the support with the super rare ultra rare cards. Um, it's good because you can send this to the graveyard. Um, you can send it with giant ballpark. You can just uh, link it off. Uh, or you can swing into an opponent's monster uh, and then you can add the uh, level 5 or higher insect monster from your deck to the hand. This guarantees you a kaiju. If you, for example, um, just have this on board plus giant ballpark, you can trigger the giant ballpark. I will come back to that later and add a kaiju from your deck to your hand. And when this is banished, you most of the time just banish this with uh, a stackipede. Uh, you can send any insect monster from your deck to the graveyard. I'm playing uh, for my boss monsters, I'll say, <laughs> in the main deck. I'm playing uh, two Gadala, the Wind Kaiju, and two Super Armored Robot Armed Black Iron Seas. <laughs> um, Super Black Sea has the effect that if I have three insect monsters with the same name in my graveyard, I can special summon this from my hand and I can equip up to three monsters with the same name in my graveyard to this as uh, equip spells and I can send one of the monsters to the graveyard to destroy all monsters my opponent controls with higher attack than the monster I sent. So if I equip it with three insect knights, uh, this is basically three times a Raigeki for any monster that has 1900 or more attack on my opponent's side of the field. Um, by the way, Raigeki, <laughs> I'm playing one lightning vortex. This is basically a Raigeki, just in a rare form. Uh, yeah, it's it's good if my opponent has many monsters on the field. I can I can punish people for overextending with this. Uh, sad thing is that I have to discard one card, but you don't really care about the discard because all you need is giant ballpark most of the time. <laughs> then I'm playing two Pot of Benevolence. Uh, this is a way to shuffle resources back into the deck. Giant ballpark can special summon from hand deck and or graveyard if you send something, if you send a normal monster. Uh, so we can, with Pot of Benevolence, shuffle back one each of the Black Sea and the Insect Knight, and then Giant Ball Ballpark can be used uh, two additional turns to summon the normal monsters, which is really good. I'm playing one uh, Moon Mirror Shield. Uh, Moon Mirror Shield is limited in the event as well, so I'm playing only one. Normally you would play more if you play on a budget. Uh, by the way, Pot of Benevolence, you can maybe cut down to one. You don't need to, but uh, I, I felt safer because I wasn't drawing into it when I needed it, so I was playing two. I played one before. And then I'm playing the name of the game. I'm playing Giant Ballpark. Um, during damage calculation, when either player would take battle damage, so you can either use this when you attack your opponent or your opponent attacks you, you can make neither player take any battle damage from that battle, and if you do, you can send one level 4 lower insect monster from your deck to the graveyard. This allows you to either send the Goki Pole to destroy one monster on the field and special summon a normal monster, or you can just send straight up a normal monster and then you can summon any number of it uh, from your hand deck and or graveyard. It's it's really good. Uh, this allows you to just straight up get three materials on board when your opponent swings into you. Uh, we are playing many rank fours in the extra deck. We have uh, the ability to go into uh, link threes with this because we get so much material just with this. 
uh, it's it's insane. And when any of our monsters is destroyed, we can special summon an insect normal monster from our graveyard. So uh, even if you summon an Xyz monster and they destroy that, it doesn't need to be an insect monster that gets destroyed. Uh, you can special summon one insect monster from your graveyard. Then we are playing three, Verdant Sanctuary. Um, this is not a hard once per turn, which is really nice. So um, if you have multiple, you can add twice. The sad thing with this is it does not trigger when you set an insect monster. So you cannot uh, set a resonance insect and have a Verdant Sanctuary on field and hope that the Verdant Sanctuary triggers, because it will not. Um, then for kind of the flex spots, I'm playing uh, two Mystical Space Typhoon. I would recommend playing this because it, it can be really helpful and you need spell drop removal. Because uh, imagine you're playing against dimensional fissure or something. Like there are uh, floodgates that are not that are not super rare or ultra rare that can be played in the tournament. Um, then I'm playing two forbidden chalice. Uh, this is just good when you play this deck in a in a normal match. You can. You can hit a normal summon Alistair with this. You can you can hit very many things. Uh, Chalice is insane for uh, only being a rare card. Then I'm playing one Dynamicious. Uh, yeah, you can play Lost Wind instead, but uh, I like having having some removal option uh, in my repertoire. Then I'm playing two Lost Winds. Uh, Lost Wind is, is just really cool because it's a it's a slower Chalice because it's a trap but you can recycle it when your opponent special summons something from the extra deck. And secret tech, I'm playing three Solemn Scolding. Solemn Scolding is basically a Solemn Judgment, but it's a rare. Uh, the downside of this is it has to be the only set card that you control. But I'm not playing really many cards that are set. Like maybe um, Lost Wind or Dynamicious or Chalice, but that's it, like five other cards I'm playing. Uh, the good thing is, uh, when the other set card is a Lost Wind, you can just shotgun the Lost Wind on the first monster they summon, and then your Solemn Scolding is alive again. Uh, scolding is really nice because you need to protect your ballpark, and this allows you to keep the ballpark in the game, and it only costs 3,000 life points. Like, you can either win the game by paying 3,000 life points, or not win the game, and then I, I'd rather pay the 3,000 life points. In the extra deck, um, we are playing some of the default stuff you play in budget decks. Um, number 70, just because it's a great rank 4. Uh, Geonator Transversal, because she can con take control of an opponent's monster. Uh, Helviskir, <laughs> the Desperate Doom Eagle, and Power Code Talker are just the, the normal ones you can put in any budget deck. Uh, because we can summon three level 4 monsters out, we can play. Um, Harder to summonable uh, rank four, so we can play number ninety one Thunder Spark Dragon. Uh, this just blows up your opponent's whole field. Uh, number fifty seven can gain quite much attack if your opponent has a towers you cannot beat. Uh, then you can just swing over it with this. Um, Heartland Draco is cool because you have many face off spells and this can uh, swing attack for uh, swing directly for game. Then uh, number fifty two is an Xyz I like to play because. He can swing over problematic monsters as well, and you can sit on him too, because he has the 3k booty. Then I'm playing two Imduck the World Chalice Dragon. This is um, in here for two reasons. Um, one is um, it can bounce an opponent's monster if they summoned in front of your extra monster zone, which is really good. And um, Halvis Gear needs two plus wind monsters, and the problem is you have no other way of making this except for Link summoning a Shinobi Insect plus an Imduck. And then you have two Wind Monsters. And Halvus Gear is pretty good, I have to say. I'm playing as well a Black Ship of Corn. This can sometimes burn for game, but I always forget that it can only target face-up monsters with less attack than its own attack, so it's not that useful. But it in in some situations it can just swing for game i'm playing one puzzle omino because he's removal and i'm playing two shinobi insects uh, shinobi insect is what i'm making most of the time when i have to protect myself like sometimes i just uh, normal summon resonance insect resonance insect swing into something in defense position and then i can summon three normal monsters from my deck with giant ballpark and then i link off the Resonance Insect plus one of the normal monsters in a Shinobi Insect. 
Uh, this way I can get a search with the Shinobi Insect. I, uh, Shinobi Insect protects itself um, and I can uh, link off my Resonance Insect into something good. You know? um, I'm playing two Shinobi Insects just because I'm playing one to make the Havel Skier. Same for the Imdog. Yeah. I hope you like this deck profile. I'm pretty convinced that the, this deck is uh, really decent for um, how budget it is. And yeah, when I told people that Giant Ballpark is playable in the normal and rare only event, uh, they were shocked, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I hope you have a nice day. I hope you have fun with this deck. And see you all in the next video.